In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can install R, R Studio, and R packages on a Makua system. So, first of all, you need to go to the current R project page, and this is the page. I will leave the link to this page in the description box. So, when you are here, you will find download links for the different versions of R. So, we are going to select that one from Makua, which is this one here. So, click it. And then you'll be sent to another page. So on this page, you have to select the appropriate uh, installer version. I'm using a 64-bit version. So I'll use this one here, this one here, this one here. So I'll click it to download. So it's being downloaded now. Okay, so the installer has been downloaded. So I'll go and then check it out. I'll go to my downloads folder. So this is the installer. So I'm now going to open it. I'm going to run it. Okay, so now I have this window here. So I have to answer some questions basically and then uh, the R installer will be installed so first of all I have this window so I'll go to continue I have some statements here but everything is okay so I'll click on continue and then I'll have this also here so here I'll also go to continue the same here this is a software license agreement I agree so I'll go to continue and then I'll have this here so I'll now click on the agree this one here and then I'll have it done so now I have this coming up okay so it's just saying that this is the installation type and it also says 181.4 MB of space will be used so I'll just agree and then click on install so I'll click this to install it I'll have I have been asked I have been asked to enter my password, so I'll enter the password. So now the installer will continue its job. Okay, now installation has been done, so we can close this window. And we can move this to bin because we don't need it anyway, but I can choose to keep it, but I will move it to my bin okay okay now we have completed the installation so let's proceed with the rest of the activity okay we are now going to test the installation so i'll go and then search for r so i'll go to my launch pad and then i'll search for r so i'll type r and then i should see this coming up so i'll click it And then I'll have the R console being open for me here. So this is R. I'll try to enlarge it a bit. Okay, so I have this warning coming up, but I will ignore it for now. I just want to test. So I'll just issue some R commands. So I'll just say print two. So I have it there. Okay, it has been printed nicely for me. The text is very small. The font size is very small, but we can always modify it. But anyway, that's fine. I'll just leave it as it is. We can always make some changes here, but I'll leave it as it is. Our focus is to install RStudio as well. So that's what we are going to do. That um, has a lot of utilities that you can use for coding. So I will now show you how to install RStudio. Now that we have R installed, we can install RStudio. So I'll close this and go back to my browser. Okay, so on my browser, I will go to the RStudio page. So this is the page. And by the way, RStudio is now POSIX. Okay, so if you try to search for RStudio and you don't see the word RStudio, but you see POSIX, that's so RStudio, so that is the new name. 
and there's a page i will leave that into this page in the description box so that's what you have so once you are here you can come to the download r studio here click it and then you'll be sent to another section where you can get the appropriate file so when you are here you have r studio desktop you also have r studio server so we are using r studio desktop so you have to click this one here download r studio so let's click it and then you have some instructions here okay so what you have to do is to scroll down and then search for the installers so just scroll down scroll down and then you see the installers here so we are going to use the one for macOS. So this is what I'm going to use. So it says macOS 10.15 plus. So that means macOS 10.15 or higher. So that's what I'm going to use. So this is the installer. So I'll download it. So I'll click to download. And then I'll allow the download to be done. So it's been downloaded now so i can check the progress here so let's wait for a download to complete okay the download has been completed so we are going to check the installer i'll go back to my downloads folder So I'm in the downloads folder, so I will see this file here. This is the installer. So I'm going to run it. So once I run it, I will see this coming up. Okay, so here I will just drag this to applications so that I can always access it there. So I have done that. So it's making the copy. That's what we have here okay so we have made a copy into the applications folder so we can always go and then open our studio so let's go to the launch pad and then search for our studio so it has popped up so we can click it and then it will be open if you don't see it here you have to check this area and you will see it here but there's something going on so let's wait for it to complete okay so you will have this warning you may have it if you have it don't worry it's just a warning so you will ignore it and then still open the R studio so you click open so once you click open, R Studio should open for you. Perfect. So it's opening now. Okay. So R Studio has been opened. So everything is fine now. So let's check the R Studio. Let's enlarge it a bit. I will enlarge it a bit here. Let's do this. okay we have opened our studio so if you open it for the first time you are going to see this text here okay now if you see this text that's fine sometimes too you may see it like this okay you may see the interface like this and then the text will be here and then you also have this so either way it's fine so for now let's just use this one here i'm assuming that all of you are going to see the art studio this way so if you see it this way then this is the console okay so the console allows you to execute our commands in an interactive way that means that whatever command you issue you will get the results immediately so that's how we are going to do it. but before we even do the test just look at the text here to me the text is very small so in R studio it's possible to change the size of the text okay so you can change the font size type and you can also do some other stuff so for now let's just say we want to change the size of the text here so to do that just come to this side this menu and then you find tools this one here so click it and when you click it you have these options given so 
go to the last one which is global options and then click it so when you click it you will have this window coming up so here search for appearance this one here and then click it so when you click it you are going to see this so we are going to change the size of the text that means we will change the font size so to do that you will see editor font size here we are going to change it so let's just say we want to increase it to let's say 12 you can do that so select it and click on 12 then you can come to ok or apply but i'll use ok and then that is it so you will see that the size has been increased let's make it 14 so let's go back global options appearance and then let's make it 14 so let's go to okay perfect so now we are done so now we can do a test so let's run some simple r comma so let's say print hello world so hello world so when you hit the enter button you will have the results given to you okay so this is how we run r okay now let's do this let's say two plus three let's do this you also get a result here okay so that's how we do it now if let's say you have a lot of text you are in the console you are in the interactive mode and you have a lot of text you can always clear the screen so to clear the screen you have to press the control key and then l so when you do that you will see that the screen would have been cleared the console screen so that's how we clear the screen let's just do it again so let me just type anything random stuff let's do it and then let me just clear the screen again so again press ctrl and then l l for low you will have the screen cleared for you okay so now let's do some additional tests let's just say a equals 20 b equals 35 and we can say c equals a plus b and we can print c and you get the result you can also type c and then you get the result so this is the console the interactive mode okay so that's how we do it sometimes instead of the interactive mode you would like to do what i call the batch mode where you type your commands and you execute them in batches so if you want to do that then you need to reduce the size of this window you have to send it here so this console window here when you want to send it to the lower part you can come to this section here this side here you see this window here we have two boxes here so click it and when you click it it will be sent here for you okay so when it's here then you have your editor okay so this is an empty file let me just if you don't see something like this you can still come here come to this side this one here and then click on new file so when you click it you can select our scripts so you click it and then you have your our scripts being open for you so now we have two our scripts open you can choose any of them but I'll close one of them. Perfect. So if you have it like this, you can issue your command. So let's say print hello. Let me just use go to the middle. So I'll say print hello world. So if I have it like this, then I can just highlight and then click on run. And that will be done for me okay let's say two plus three and then i can run it so with the running the shortcut you can also use okay so for mac os there's a shortcut if you highlight it you see it so it asks us to press the command and then the enter okay so if I want to use the shortcuts, I just press command and then enter and it will be executed for me. So the results that you get will be displayed here. Even though we are, we are entering the codes here, whatever results that you get will be displayed here. So that's what we have here. So let's try one more time. Let's say 
friends friends this is our studio now this time we will use the shortcut so command and then enter so if you do it you will see your results here okay so this is how we do it okay so this is how we install and then set up r and r studio on a macOS system now after you have set up your r and r studio you may want to install packages okay so i'm going to show you one approach to install packages you have to use the installed packages function there are different approaches to install packages depend on how the software has been packaged and then where the software has been stored so i'll show one way and that is to use the installed package so let's say you want to install a tool called tidyverse then to install it we will have to use the installed packages usually instructions for installing the packages will be available so you just have to check the documentation for the package and then you see how it is installed so for tidyverse we install it using the installed packages function so i'll do that here so i can do that here i can do that here i can also type it here but i'll use the console here so again i'll clear the screen and then i'll say install dot packages and then in some cases i will try to guess what you want and then display it for you okay so this is what i want so i can just type it or if it is displayed for me and this is what i want i can just click it so any of them is fine so once you have your installed packages then you bring your code and you say tidyverse this is what we want to install and then you just hit the enter button so r will download all the necessary packages and then configure them for you okay so that's how we do it so that's how we install our packages as well okay the r package has been installed so if you want to use the r package then you have to say library that means we are loading it so library and then you specify the package name so you say tidyverse i will try to guess the package for you in some cases and then you can select or store type so this is tidyverse so there's it and then you can just load it by hitting the enter button so when you do that i will load the package for you if you want the batch mode then you can just issue the same command here let's say library tidyverse and then you can execute the command so this will also load the library for you so depend on what you want then you can choose to load it here or here and in most cases you have to load the libraries before you start your r command so that's how we do it so that's how we install and set up r and r studio on a macOS system now what we did was to use the installed packages to install an r package but there are other ways to install packages okay in r so if you want to learn the other approaches that you can use to install packages in r then i suggest you watch the video right here